Road Warriors finally got a chance to come back home uh, this past Sunday against one in Arizona. Beat them 3 0, all three holes in the first half. Uh, so, shut out their second shutout of the year. Uh, there was also a childhood cancer awareness game uh, for the second straight year. Raised over $1,000 for a great cause there. Uh, benefits going to childhood cancer uh, research. And uh, the team has scored five goals in the last two games. Both wins and all five goals have been scored by five different goal scorers. So some interesting tidbits in the offense being distributed evenly. That's a good fact, Daniel. I didn't even know that one. <laughs> um, yeah, a good, a good weekend for us and, and probably one of the earliest goals in our program's history. Leilani scored kind of right off kickoff, which was a great way to start a game. But more importantly for us, it was a rainy day and we were a little bit worried about what we were going to be able to do for um, our childhood cancer awareness game, but it ended up being a great turnout and some good money, and we'll go we'll go give that donation this week, which is one of our highlights of the year. So uh, overall, a great weekend. And then this weekend, we get ready to go down to New Mexico State, which is obviously for every sport a, a big rivalry weekend. And um, last time we went down there, we lost it. So I think we're a little bit fired up to have a better performance and, and go in, and we know it's going to be a great game. So we're, we're getting ready for that now. Just even getting the chance to be back home for a little bit, you know, we saw with New Mexico United, they went on the road for a while, they come back home and the whole atmosphere is just electric for, for everybody. Did you guys feel that just being you know, finally coming back home after all those road Yeah, trips? absolutely, absolutely. It, it's, there, there's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot of better places in the country to play than, than our soccer field. I absolutely love it. And especially, I mean, it wasn't a night game, but especially our night games when the sun's setting, it just, it feels a little bit magical to play here. So I think there's always a, a bigger sense of pride when you get to play, you know, at home in front of our home crowd and represent our state. And I, I think for us, that's always a big deal. So yeah, it was nice to be back for one game and back on the road now, so. so last year, uh, other than football, everybody else was taking losses to the Yankees. Um, what did you think? How deep is that? I mean, are you guys aware of that? Do you feel like, man, we just we have to have this? Yeah, it, to me, it's fun. I mean, I, I like when you're playing for something more, and I, I think for us, it's. Uh, I mean, for me, being from New Mexico, I, I just feel part of that anyway. I mean, you just you always Lobo Aggies is a big deal, um, and there's a lot of players that I've coached in club soccer or know from Albuquerque that play for that roster, and I think that adds kind of more emotion to it and. To me, those are the games that you want. Their, their coach is a great guy and who's a good friend, and um, he's doing really, really good things down there. So I, I think every year they're getting better, and we're trying to do the same. And it, that game comes down to always emotion. It seems to be a one-goal game one way or the other, and we'll, we'll go give it everything that we have. Yeah. Coach, with the exposure that women's soccer has received this year in particular, World Cup championship, all of that, what kind of carryover does that exposure and that excitement have on your players on this level? Yeah, I, I think it's a big deal for our sport at every level. I mean, it's, it's the number one played sport by women in, in our country by far. Um, but our, our women's national team and what they represent and the success they've had and the level that they do it. And I think using their voices for bigger platform and it, it's, been a, it's been a really big year just for our game. So I know our players feel that it's a... Uh, they want to live up to that level and they want to emulate the way that those women play. And um, yeah, I think anytime there's success in your sport and it draws attention, it's always a positive thing because I'm very biased, but I think it's the best sport there is. So when people get to see that and see it at that level, it, it makes me proud to be a part of it. Would you, your players mimic the play of the world championship? If they looked like any of the world championship team, I'd be quite happy, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but it, of course, when, when you get to see women that you know, are, are attainable to you. They're from your state or they're from, you know, programs or, or clubs that you grew up in. Um, of course you want to be more like them and, and try to, try to you know, emulate what they're doing and try and show that you can play at that level. Um, so, yeah, I, I think any time your players watch the game, they learn and then they try to make their game better. So, for sure, it's been a great thing for our team. Coach, with the, the stat that uh, Daniel threw out and uh, all that balance, is that what you're looking for anyway? Like, that's they're, they're getting it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we went into this season and we scored 42 goals last year. And I think like 13 players scored goals last year. Um, so any time that you can have a, a multifaceted attack and, and people can't just focus on one player, I think it makes you more multidimensional in the way that you play. So um, yeah, if, if you can't focus on anybody, then it allows us to, to beat you in different ways. And I think, you know, we want some of our forwards to lead the team in goals, and we want some of those players to step up and have multiple goal games. And we have a couple of those kids, but definitely if you're scoring from all over the field, that, that's a positive sign.
Thanks, guys.